ye treat at the season no and sorry and nanti to send your wind with ye a ye one boy for Juma and one mukrun one more and sorry no one say yes sir more from your mamma Denmark and your mamma you're talking to Denmark more from your mamma a ye China more from your mamma Canada one more for some information ma and so me a treat at the chase or me jiska this is about time yeah, you need information, and you say you can see your best spot to near my. But we need my dear work out on that work of fun with him. And your brother, I'm sorry, not somebody any brother. Yes, I tell my for budget. I'm not money maker, sir. On a year, I year did the a year can seven now. I'm a new crew. So tell me a bit me. I take you your place. I dear year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Locally, not one more ever turn. I'm a year new animal. What the Caribbeans, you know, it's not something that we should be proud of. So we really want to see double-digit growth for both economies in this particular space. So we want to work towards getting into like a 3.64 million US dollar in terms of trade. Uh, we want to work towards it being balanced, you know, so that both economies are benefiting and growing in a significant way going forward. Ghana <laughs> They say China for the Fedi waha no ma ko frem e di akoba videos. E na muso e ma wonu mwen vuni se 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 gana ye ne pa ye wano e hon aban fas wopa. E jwe di fo bre e bre e ni pe e bre wo me yu mu e jume e ni ho e ni de pike e ka hon. We yi e ben na muso e ma nyame ni e ti ni aga ne pa e yi ye. Na ye re se dia e peni fo ni ti ti u e ni ma keo a o no e ye CEO e de ma ba videos investment and development uh, corporation. So the doc has been really, uh, I just fall in love with this guy when we had dinner and I just looking forward to making some billions with you and your team going forward. And the real purpose of this is to facilitate all of us getting wealthier. Is that okay? Anybody here frightened for money? Yeah. If you're frightened for money, leave the room. <laughs> concept of the importance of surplus like a mango tree. The mango tree produces fruit for me, it produces fruit for the monkey, fruit for the bird, fruit for everything. So we have to be fruitful and produce surplus and making profit and the importance of making profit and, and we really want to over the next uh, course of, of next few months drill down into how we build businesses between the Caribbean particularly Barbados and Ghana, that generates double-digit, triple-digit growth. Thank you. Okay? So I just want to introduce uh, the doc. I call him the doc, affectionately. And uh, let him just speak on behalf. And then I'm going to drill down after that into some of the strategies we're going to use to get double-digit growth between Ghana and Barbados. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> Ya won't be a more honorable, no, who said they are not a before man and even before she more honorable in a be a cassa as if I a mooning in a natural say. And what's a gun on quiet a cock china, and I could buy a cofania at the tongue. Any jaded bacco cassa or cass and a bar, it seemed me pound said the air full siafa, or so mix and mix in ye may be, and on the end, so no so shame him say, Nebano be co or be like a bear fed us, I dear no, you're not empty of our jar too. Or much to me, they are called Barbados. I hear come one city. Now, I have come on. Now, dear, for a jar to not uncle her Barbados for no cause a dry baby dinner. And so say the inferior goods ever call. I will say you did Janonea Crojan, Sarnona, and call for the brace. So, and our countries be brava. No money, our bears have collaboration. And see, young court, young court, and some are. A year in penny phony be at the bed to the meeting in your poem and info and if in fact I see a bit more, they are also at the two day. Living life every day, let it die, not okay, all I want and I pray. 
All I need are some better days Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror So foggy, but I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try it anything So I'ma just get by in everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better change my mindset, meditate It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days I could walk, see, here, I should celebrate Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate Living life, every day Late at night, not okay All I want, and I pray All I need, are some better days Yeah Export Barbados Is the version of Ghana Export Promotion Authority And the CEO, CEO Is my dear brother Mark Hill Mark, you are welcome yeah. And their mission here today is to is to bridge us together with their um, the trading community here with the trading community in Barbados so that we can exploit opportunities together um, for both countries. By way of bridging us up through this collaboration, the collaboration as we all know, exist through our historical roots, but we want to elevate this to a commercial stage. So collaboration, yes, because we are tied together. Um, as you can see, we resemble ourselves, but now we want to do business. So all that Export Barbados is doing, see, or seek to do, is to uh, bring trade facilitation to us. This facilitation will be in the form of B2B engagement, means that they will be organizing some um, fora for us, organization of trade fairs, establishment of electronic trading platforms where we can interact, providing legal, maritime, and aviation advisory also to us. So by so doing, if you want to do business to Barbados and by some extent, to the whole larger Caribbean, they are going to advise us on how we can ship our goods, how we can get a, 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 a very good flight, and then and the rest, their investment laws will be explained to us if even we want to establish there. We have decided on this, and then the MOU on this collaboration will be signed by the parties in August this year in Barbados. If you are happy about this, you can clap for it. So in August, this year, we are going to Barbados to sign this memorandum of understanding to show our commitment to this positive partnership. Trading simply means buying and selling of goods and services to get profit. So it's not one way as we've been doing, that we only go and import. So if you find goods that are profitable elsewhere in the group, we have to, and we have it abundant here, we have to pack it, and pack it well, to suit the demands of those destinations and sell. That's the only sure way we will get the forest, abundance of the forest, and the country will be rich. We will not be crying that we have shortage of the forest and then the, um, the, there's depreciation and all that. I think we have to make this as a, a point of call for all the names and all the main traders. It breaks my heart that recently Gary is being packed, produced and packed nicely in China. This is a common staple that we have in abundance. That if our trade missions elsewhere have been able to identify the market for us, it could have provided a huge employment for our people here. It's only cassava that is being turned into a food commodity and that we know best and we've done it. How can we arrange for the marketing for this? These are some of the things that I'm talking about. Now China is producing cocoa. And it's going to also sell cocoa. Please, let's wake up from our slumber of doing only one-sided business and taking it all from them. 
I'm charged and I'm embarrassed when I was told that shell butter is being sent to the Caribbean. They are our brothers, they have so many needs. The things that we need is the same thing that they need. So it means that the things that we have in abundance here is almost the same thing that they will need in those destinations. Let's wake up, search for the prizes, search for the opportunities, send these goods in abundance, and when we go there, we also find the goods that our brothers have manufactured there, and then bring it here to sell for them. I'm happy to tell you that through this, this collaboration, we've been able to sign a very big contract. One of our, um, <coughs> our um, distributors have signed a big contract and will be bringing rum. They will be made us rum. They are very noted in rums. And a huge contract has been signed and they will represent the interest of Barbados. And this is, the, this is what we are talking about. But it's not going to be that we are going to buy from them only. Uh, my excitement here is that we will send goods there, sell it, much much our profit, and buy goods that we may need from that country as well. The ancestral history between Ghana and Barbados, that is not always only about business. It starts with the ancestral relationship. It starts with the shared values. It starts with the fact that we enjoy the same things. The foods are somewhat similar. The personalities are often similar. And, um, you know, our country's leaders are also very, very, very interwoven in terms of their vision. The vision for Barbados is that, of course, we are a small nation but our size will not determine the impact that we have on the world. So on the behalf of the Barbados High Commission to Ghana, and I hope that you know by now where our offices are located. We are located on 10 Cloti Avenue, Le Bonne. Le Bonne. There are so many people here that if I start to single you out, I may leave a few people out, and I don't want to do that. All I know is that everyone in this room has become a very dear friend. I have some ladies on this side that I've met for the first time this, e this afternoon, and there's some serious business women, and we're looking forward to doing business with them. But this is not about me. This is about letting you know a little bit about the philosophy of the export culture that is going to drive the relationship between Barbados and Ghana. Idea of agenda from the Barbados to Ghana. Because as a traditional leaders, we have more to offer. Yeah, because we are the custodians of the land. But there is something wrong somewhere. I don't want to say much here. I really appreciate it what is happening here and I can see that we have a better future. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you. I just want to take this opportunity on behalf of Expo Barbados to share this gift with the traders. So it's, it's being given to the dog, but it's to represent our commitment to all the traders. Let's do double and triple digit growth. Thank you. So whenever you see this gift, I want to see double and triple, triple. digit growth. So why am I speaking about double and triple digit growth? Because fundamentally, while we've been trading, when we look at our numbers, particularly on, on the Ghana side, uh, Ghana export, exported in 2020, 2021, just around 3,000 US dollars in product to Barbados, right? And primarily it was a re-export. Uh, broadcast equipment. Barbados, on the other hand, we exported $36,000 US to Ghana. So we have a positive net export with Ghana. So, so we are learning how to be more effective at getting product into Ghana and how to grow 
um, successfully. But what concerns me is that you're only moving 10% of what we're moving. All right? And you're a bigger economy with more resources. So we really want to collaborate on how do we help each other's economy to grow up the double digit, triple digit level. Right? How do we make our economies more profitable um, going forward? And, and that is really what we want to deepen and strengthen this relationship uh, going forward, particularly with the traders. Why the traders? Because the traders are the off takers. Uh, at the end of the day, well, manufacturers may be in the pipeline. The manufacturers need distribution channels. They need someone who's going to have the capital outlay and outflow, and who's going to take the risk and carry that risk. And the traders are the ones who take that risk. But we need to now uh, have traders who are not just bringing product in from overseas, bringing it into your economy, and your way of making profit is just constantly moving the numbers up on your local market. You understand where I'm coming from? So I'm going to give you traders some lashes. Yeah? We bring in stuff from China, we market up, then we market up, and we market up. But there's more wealth to be created by being an exporter. Yeah? But so we've got to strengthen um, the export capacity. And working with Gaipa people, we're going to help facilitate that in a significant way as well. But we're going to continue to deepen and widen this basket, export basket. Uh, so that it can move from 36,000, but we have the higher number, yeah? And let's agree to move that to a, a trade between us and Ghana to at least 3.6 million by 2025. Can we agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Because fundamentally, it has to be about action. We, the other thing we have in common because we know we're, that uh, Barbadians are Ghanaians, a lot of talk, mm. <laughs> but little action. Yeah. Rehana is from Ghana. Yeah, I noticed that you love radio talk shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody turn on radio talk show. Let's get some action shows. <laughs> we're, by, we're really growing our economies by, by transferring value to one another. And, and in Barbados, we, are, we, we, we have some successful stories. Uh, when I came in as CEO, like you, we were having a, a 4.2 decline in, 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 uh, in exports. But we came in and we applied a more design-centric approach to how we do business. And in six months, we were 11.4% growth. All right? And now we were, then we moved to 16 point something percent growth. And on my way here on the plane, the report came through to me, we are 17 point something percent growth. So we can do double digit growth. But one of the things that we have to take into account very seriously is that we can either do it in an ad hoc way, so we can do trading in an ad hoc way, or we can have a design strategy that we follow in a very disciplined way that delivers specific results. So I want to say thank you for coming thank and uh, continue to enjoy the reception. And uh, if there's anybody that wants to participate in the action, we are facilitating a 20 or 40 foot container, whatever you can put in. So that by, I give you four weeks now. Yeah. But I, I don't waste time. Four weeks to get product in that container and shipped to us so that we are starting to move stuff between Barbados and Ghana in a more systematically consistent way. Then we can book to do this once a month they be up it to once a week till we can get to a point where containers from Ghana is, is going back and forth every single week. All right? So, thank you very much. Any questions from anybody? Yeah, yeah, can I say your best way? Nah. I'm saying, you may be a year or two, and so as a Ghana, you're the four. I your best way, you can Ghana, buy any, 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 na enko yese edwadie e yese ye koto abeto nko a na mbom no ye de tokoton no so e ka ho se ye be hwe enema ye 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 man mu na ye di mrika waka na yakoton na eho em e no bai no ye binya no ye de atone ma na ye tu ye pese ye to free san kwi so e de ba ni senti 
you be here say your name Ghana Export Promotion Authority bidding kuta hudi kesi na wo matimi am information hu say sanye mani sanye ma we bi out the call India yeto wo di we call Dubai ya yeto wo di we call Turkey ya yeto sa information no kwa na yehwe because yeah ya dwade no titu na no ya ye em koto beton enti sa wo mo so na wo sa em em kwa bata ni mo betimi di atre ye de ye betimi ato akoto na ye ni babedos for this say eh just the beginning babedos no e betimi ye ekrokitwa na so nya a Hong Kong, yes, 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 the whole Caribbean, so no. Because Caribbean, so no, we must try no to say yes, yes. We must buy any money, yes. We must do money, be buy to say yes, yes. We must try the same. It is not a court and yet ma. We must be here. Let's say Ghana, you bet me, I take advantage. Now, yeah, yes, for two sani amano, I call sa ukuiso. And no one yeah, yes, you take advantage. Now, yeah, we must need this a a pamui. Na yadi Ghana ni ama eko wame di kaka cha se kuto kwa umuto no China na kuto umuto no ni quality kwa nui yadi ni kwa somba China fua beto free ya no wame de ya mubi ya kofra no wama kwa kuto no wama tano na boarding so inti yeye yebe timi ateki that position kente yekente ya yepam no quality China fua yadi ni wame wame yani aha aha no eno ni wame eto waho. Bees, we must have more bees. No panic now, no, because we only a tourist destination. Ah, artifacts, no, no, we can't. We must twenty. Any animal, a wasa industry, no, no. We must so we must enter in a supreme. Na we must enter in success. We must do we must be better, good at for. The end of the decade, we are booming. Yeah, kona ye nya foreign exchange no na ye de boa economy no na economy na tra na kwabu mu na eh ya seta na ebe ba beji kuku. Any girl, at our woman, you say, Abra, yeah, you bit me, yeah. You're not just saying that you trade at the chase, you know. And you say, it will hurt by name. You trade at the chase, you know. And sorry, and nanti to say you win, you win, you win. One boy, if you're Juma, I'm with Mukrum. One boy, and sorry, no one say you say. Move from your mom, right? Denmark. And your mom, where you're talking Denmark. Move from your mom, where you're talking about China. Move from your mom, where you're talking about Canada. One more first time for me, see, ma. And so me, you trade at the chase, or me, you just can. This is about time. Yeah, you need information. I just say you're passing. Yeah, yeah, you're best spot to near me. But we need to work out one. Now work out one way here. In Japan, I'm sorry. Now some people need braba. Just a chance for the dear. I'm woman in Mekasa. On way. I was here the day. I here can't say. Now I'm a nuclear one. So chance a bit me at taking here your place. I dear here near here here in locally. Now one more a bit long. I'm a young man. What the Caribbean? So no. It's not. Uh, uh, something that we should be proud of. Thank you so much. How we structure our particular export model, particularly the certified exports, we have three different portfolios. So we have what we call our bioeconomy. So everything that is made from biological resources, we have a specific targeted interventions for that. So we want to bring that expertise also to, to Ghana. Um, but sp specifically under that bioeconomy space, we have the life sciences, biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, medical technology. So we want to be able to really work together on that. Uh, your nurses are already in Barbados, so we're already having that medical collaboration. But we want to deepen that, not just at the service level, but we want to deepen that also at the product level as well. Yeah. Um, then the, the second part of our portfolio is what we call the design economy. So actually, uh, one of your top designers, international designers, uh, David Ajay, Right? He's actually designing a facility in Barbados, um, the Slave Museum. He's working on that one. And um, that's a phenomenal project. We have the, one of the largest records of slaves. Um, and he is the person, a Ghanaian, is the one who's actually designing that museum in Barbados and building it out. So we're collaborating on design. We're going to do a lot more design collaboration where some Barbadian designers uh, on the product side will be coming to Ghana and be having deeper design conversation, a deeper co design uh, narrative going forward as well between Barbados and Ghana. And then on the third side is our oceans. So um, we're island and our EEZ is like our exclusive economic zone is like 400 times the size of our land mass. So, so we have a lot of expertise in you know uh, shipping, maritime logistics, uh, and even our fisheries to a degree. But one of the things that we know on the west coast of Africa is that we have a lot of uh, plastic waste as well. So, so how can we collaborate so that we can get the plastic off of the oceans? So we'll be having the conversations with all the African nations along the coast so we can have one big plastic cleanup 
for the whole of Africa and the Caribbean collectively together, but with that plastics, we would use a particular scientific process that can take it and convert it into a fuel that can be used for other industrial purposes. So we are going to bring our science, uh, our core strength uh, on the island is scientific, is science, scientific. We reproduce on average per year about 1,500 scientists. So, so science is really our core strength and we really want to leverage our scientific capabilities and help Ghana to, and also Ghana's scientific capabilities and really uh, improve the complexity of our export baskets together. Sa in Sirusha and Achese, I was saying a shin ye pane and fun ye ma fake, anko. Ye ni scientific researcher, penia or one man pon, etu chain and como. No betcher musa babedos for ne buy no omo ya de na omwa ba and omo beset, say said ye de hair ba, e be si a fasaya re, uko hospital, sabaka ku mu orthodox medicine and kwa dabi, si se al kwa ube kwa ku mu hair ba baby ya, omu de ha mama, and as ye can say e dia ba esaya re, nya mese ye indi dia ba nienfa. I was introduced to the um, attache at the Barbados High Commission, Phil Phillips, um, by um, the director for Biotechnology and Nuclear Agricultural Research Institute of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. He was scouting for somebody, a scientist in the, in the herbal medicine industry. And I happened to have a collaboration with Binari of Gayek. So when Phil um, asked him if he knew anybody I mean, in the herbal medicine industry, he gave Phil my, my contacts. So Phil called me and we had a very passionate discussion about medicinal plants. Now he told me about their history, they being um, Ghanaians, and then the fact that they have identified some plants in Barbados that they know is also in Ghana. So it's like the ancestors, when they were traveling, or uh, moving them from Ghana to Barbados, they, they went along with these plants that they were using to heal their wounds, malaria, all the diseases that we can think about that is in Ghana. So they have established, or they've seen some of these plants in their country. Now, they were thinking of how to conserve these plants and also try to make some products out of it, just like we do at the Center for Plant Medicine Research. So it was a very long discussion, but then it all ended up in the collaboration. And this collaboration began with establishing a garden so that we can have an in-situ conservation for the medicinal plants that uh, we have both identified. So you know, the center is a center of excellence, and we are, we are a scientific you know, um, institution. So our products are outcomes of research. So we conduct research, then whatever we get out of the, the research, we don't keep re our research on the shelves. We convert it into a product. And so we have a clinic, a clinic at our, our center, and we dispense only herbal medicines that we have manufactured. Now, for um, authenticity and then um, uh, surety that we are transporting or we are exporting something very efficacious, what we do is that you know that uh, we call something um, clinical trials. Now, um, for now, our Nibima product, which we use for malaria, is undergoing clinical trial with the FDA. It's in collaboration with the Kwame Nkrumah KNUST in Kumasi. Now, if we are done with this clinical trial, there will be no doubt exporting this product outside Ghana because it, there's a clinical backing. Uh -huh. So now, um, very soon, Export Barbados is, I mean, the Barbados government is, is also trying, is in talks with the center to try and see if we can help with diabetes and then hypertension products. Export Barbados and Ghana, this collaboration is going to strengthen one. Um, I mean, the bilateral relationship is very important. Two, um, they have helped Ghana to establish the first of its kind herbal, I mean, medicinal plant garden where you can come and see medicinal plants for yourself. Two, um, we are in talks to, um, they are in talks with us to sponsor clinical trials of anti-diabetic and anti-hypertensive drugs. Now, when this happens, it means that we are going to get authentic, efficacious, anti-diabetic and anti-hypertensive drugs for Ghanaians and for Barbadians. 
that has undergone clinical trials. And when a, a product under, is, is able to undergo clinical trials, exporting it is very easy. The herbal medicine industry is, uh, is a tons of, I mean, millions of dollars venture. You cannot really estimate uh, the, the vast profits that comes with it. So the medicinal plant garden, the one in Ghana, they are sponsoring worth $65,000. Yes, um, this is just for the Ghanaian one. Um, they are own, we are yet to go and assess their vegetation and see where they want to establish it. We will send seedlings from here, there, try and establish, see which ones will survive in their, you know, there is an, it's an island. So some will do well, some will not do well. So we are yet to explore their vegetation. But for Ghanaian one at the Center for Plant Medicine Research, it has already begun. So the garden is at the premises of the center at Manpoint Kriapim. Yes, and we um, by latest by the by the end of uh, let's say middle of next year, the garden will be fully established. We are done with maybe one third of it. Tomorrow they are visiting us to inspect what we have done. Um, work is still in progress, but it's a beautiful place that uh, you should visit and see medicinal plants for yourself. <laughs> wow. Eighty, Mahogany tree, now so Liberia, Morovia, Womode, Nam, Efiha, Ecoton, Eddie Ton to my Holland, Eddie Ba, Satan Nemisha, Womcoton, Eddie Ba. Womu, yes, I do my yard, this is sitting. Ekanka, em, em, Kakoya, a binum, this is sitting, what a crade. I can say, I can say, I brought Sire a yard, Badiano. 
who be who say a juma or yeni, a yenam who a juma and not the ye. One would see ye. And so in China, China, they are called Fana Yemurawaha, and she are near my baby waha. Ye who send me a ye be to me a quiet ye be fast so. I ye be. And when I say, Name Banan, me a can be say. Hair products, no. On one casa, fat near my near man or the Afra. Into a money to me, I a baby into a perse or to toss any a man or said the oil and crop for the sano or perso ye be be. Into a raya bar, a woman's a talking you all. Alisa no. Na in church and a bar ye no. As in bank of for the better chair ye no. A mamina. I will say that the people who are living in the world are living in the world. And the FDA is 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 living in the world. Insanuma products are grown. I buy more on Colano, ne emma a jumamra. Why, ye, and run a me who happy channel, Ponami, who knitting me a baby, it's a baby who yen it, in fact, many jay, and a nursery you should be a bed come home. Yet, Bessie will groom her. Bruni, yam, Bessie, the aye, Juma. I tag you a ha. Ya wani ama bebre wagana ha yebe tumi edi akwa akwa ton banchi yebe tumi di akwa China ho ne yadi a yenti yewe yehiya education yehiya sika yebe yehiya se obi be so yemu ne yadi tumi ya so ya ye na ehura na yadi bano anu abrasa kakra. It could be a win-win situation for both sides because you know over the years. Everything, our raw materials have been going out for minimal prices and then they get refined or reprocessed and brought back to us as finished good at very expensive prices. So we are paying a lot out and getting very little in. And also our finished products are being considered as being ethnic and not the sort of type or good quality that the uh, expatriates want. In this particular um, collaboration with Barbados, we can send them our finished goods. They too can send us their finished goods. So we will both be getting um, maximum the, 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 the maximum prices for our products as opposed to sending just our raw materials and then receiving the finished goods at high prices. I think it's very important, well, I know now that of recent, our products are of very high standard. Our textiles are of high standard. Our tailors are of high standard. Our uh, herbal medicines, I think, I believe, are maybe the best in the world. Because whatever um, herbal medicine that you buy from Ghana, it really works and it does the job that it's supposed to do. Now, if we're sending our herbal medicines to Barbados and getting premium prices for them, we're better off than trying to send it to Europe where the big farmer is going to control the product and try to dictate the prices because they don't want us to benefit. So it's a good, it's a good, it's a very good uh, collaboration for both countries. Well, I think we have to keep our high standards of manufacturing. I hear that sometimes some of our people go abroad and uh, if it's paracetamol, they say, oh, put 1% paracetamol and 90% chalk. We shouldn't be taking that kind of uh, mentality there to go and spoil what is coming to us. Because at the end of the day, if we go and do that, then we are going to suffer. We are the Ghanaians who get the bad products and they people still get good money. So Ghanaians should keep up the, the, the standard of their products. They shouldn't go and show shortcuts to 
doing the wrong thing. Shortcuts in not giving the best that we have. We should export our best kente. It should be quality controlled. We should export our best drinks. We should export our best liquors. We should export our best textiles so that when they see a product that is from Ghana, they know, oh, this is certainly the best. And that the Ghanaians are honest people and they're not going to send us defective products. I think that's the problem at the moment because people like to take shortcuts. Barbados, my hill air cast. I'm not sure they are so much into this textiles. Okay, and too much to me. Yes, so what's a fair fair papa? Uh huh, China for the air, you rubber rubber frame from the co and a mom when you want to have a bit of fun. I like it's way before I rehana if it's only me. Hey, I want to have a congratulations. I'll still wait. I want to see them. They are a problem with it to me. Low waist, ten years I try a low waist. None waist shape no so on. It's the other quiet about one iron, so you beat me. Ebetimi <laughs> Please subscribe to Boris TVGH. What's up, people? This is your darling boy, Papa Dalit. Make it easy, make it easy, can't make it easy, can't kind. Keep watching Morris TV. Don't go anywhere. Hi, Morris TV. Keep on watching. Stay tuned and subscribe. Boris, bye.